mosaic embryos. Now, what does mosaic embryos mean? It means that some of the cell lines may be affected and some of the cell lines may be normal. Now, when it happens earlier on, there is a possibility of the embryo being abnormal and mosaic abnormal, while when it happens later, it may get isolated to the placenta. Now, the Eshray came up with quite a good uh, summary, but again, it shows that we are still at crossroads. One thing we know that the detection of chromosomal mosaicism has become more complicated and with the high resolution genome wide methods of evaluation, especially with the NGS technology and with the biopsies obtained from trophoderm, we've been able to understand things better. Now, when you start looking at identification of mixed euploid and aneuploid cells for analysis, the diagnosis of chromosomal mosaicism is made. Now, the transfer policy has become a lot more complicated and it is what we are able to tell patients about the risk, the genetic screening, the stress it carries and a prenatal assessment. And all these are included, have to be discussed before we plan to proceed the embryos. Now, when they, when the ESRI says that when they looked at the heterogeneity of the data, and this is huge uh, where PGT was done. Almost all those who surveyed did their biopsies on day five, and that's the best time to do the biopsies. The majority aimed between five and 10 cells to be taken for analysis. All did not offer a cutoff for mosaicism, but generally 20% or less of abnormalities was, was called mosaicism, while more than 80% were called abnormal cells for an aneuploid embryos, and there were varying cutoffs. Now, a majority of centers, again, do not have a, a, a clear policy about transfer of, of mosaic embryos. There were about a half of those surveyed replaced em embryos, a mosaic embryos, and 10% of clinics said they would not do it at all. And, and that is why we still at this crossroads of knowing exactly when to replace the embryos, mosaic embryos, and, and when you do not. When you looked at the literature search and expert opinions and how to measure the detection of uh, chromosomal mosaic uh, mosaicism, you have to consider whether patients are willing to take the risk of carrying on the pregnancy and having a CVS or an amniocentesis done later. That perinatal testing is essentially important to give a better confirmation. Now, what does what did Estray define? Estray looked at this and said that, well, you need to develop and document your approach at managing chromosomal mosaic See to it that these couples have genetic assessment and, and advice and report these to your regulating authority. Now, it is acceptable to call a mosaic embryos as mosaic, but it's not right to call them aneuploid because they're not aneuploid. And that creates a far more bigger crisis because patients start worrying that they've replaced a completely abnormal embryo. Now, the challenge will continue in these cases, whether you're going to replace these embryos or not. And I'll tell you my take on this. And often when I counsel patients with mosaic embryos, I, I tell them, well, the, these are mosaic embryos. You can go and do cardio mapping, which allows you to see a cell line depending on whom these embryos come from. So whether they come from maternal or paternal origin. Uh, the challenge comes up is that the only way you would know and get a clear idea is at amniocentesis, and that's waiting 20 weeks before you make a decision of how to carry on the pregnancy. And whilst you can be reasonably assured that this pregnancy may go on well, that worry and challenge continues till you have that assessment done. So that's in short, uh, we're looking at the SRA guidelines. Thank you very much.